Hi guys, my name is Rick Shields down here at Trafford Golf Centre in Manchester and today I'm going to be testing our brand new range golf ball which is a two-piece ICANN range golf ball against the American Golf's market leader which is the Strixon AD Treble 3. I'm going to be comparing these two golf balls on GC2. I'm going to be hitting four with each on different shots. So I'm going to be hitting four wedges with both, trying to hit it 100 yards. I'm going to be hitting four seven irons with both, trying to hit it 180 yards. I'm going to hit four drivers with both and see the distance comparison between the two. I normally drive the ball between anywhere between 270 and 280, so we'll see how these two golf balls compare when I'm actually testing them on GC2. We've got on these two golf balls almost identical kind of spec-wise. The only difference is the cover. So we've got a two-piece golf ball on both. Now our golf balls down here at Trafford Golf Centre Manchester are 100% flight golf balls. 100%. The only thing that makes them different is that because they are a range ball, they require a slightly harder and tougher cover. You know, they've got to be hit, picked up, washed, put through the machine, hit, picked up, washed, put through the machine. So they need to last a little bit longer than your Joe Average range go or your Joe Average golf ball. Not that Strixon is Joe Average, but <laughs> your normal golf ball. So we're going to see how, how it fares. I think the big things we should be looking out for is ball speed between the two, is spin rates between the two, and then your carry distance between the two. So I'm going to be hitting the golf balls now. I'm going to fast forward through it. You see me hit some shots with the two golf balls, and then we'll have a look at the figures towards the end to see out of these two if there's a great deal of difference. Right guys, so we've got the figures now, oh, a bit knackered after hitting all those golf balls, I'll be honest, but we've got all the figures now to present to you and to see if there's much of a difference between the Shrixen AD333 and our brand new two-piece range golf ball from ICANN. We're going to see if there's much of a difference now. So we'll start off with the wedge shots first. I was trying to hit this golf ball 100 yards. So we've looked at the Shrixen details first. I carried it exactly 101 yards on average for the four shots, so not bad distance control. Ball speed was 85 and spin rate was 9,988 on average. So that shows that softer skin is grabbing the face slightly and making the ball spin. If we look at the normal range ball now, a new range ball, the carry distance is 98. You know, there's not a difference there at all. You know, trying to hit it 100 yards, I'm pleased with that. Slightly slower ball speed, two miles per hour slower ball speed. And the spin rates, again, was ever so slightly down with the range ball than it was on the Shrixen, which you would imagine because it is a harder skinned golf ball. It's not going to grab the face quite as much. It's not going to grip quite as much. So the spin rates there on average was 7,700. But as a practice facility, you're not going to see that much of the spin of the golf ball anyway. So it's, it's near enough to be exact perfect certainly on distance wise if we look at the seven iron now i was trying to carry the seven iron 180 yards that's uh, normally I, I would i would carry a seven iron about 175 185 somewhere in that region so i was trying to carry it 180 if we look at the shrixen first i was carrying that golf ball 182 yards with the shrixen on average after the four shots hit the ball speed was 128 miles per hour so pretty decent ball speed for a seven iron and the spin rate was 5700 I'm going to throw in the range balls figures now. Carry distance 179 yards. You know, no difference again. If trying to hit it 180 yards, 179 is pretty good. Ball speed was two miles per hour less, three miles per hour less, so a little bit slower on the ball speed, and it spun 100 res per minute less. 
you're not going to notice that. So again, there is no difference. And feel-wise, again, hitting that shot harder, I wasn't feeling a great deal of difference between the two golf balls. And nothing else was really different at all there. If we look at the driver, now this is where a normal range ball, there would be a huge difference in distance of the driver, definitely. So we're going to look at these two now and see if there's much of a difference. Like I say, I was carrying it anywhere between 270, in the 270s would have been a good hit. If we look at the Shrixen ball first, the average carry distance was 276 yards of carry distance. So pretty decent, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with that. The ball speed, 157. That's about normal. I'm, I'm anywhere between 155 and 160 ball speed. And the spin rate was 1,995. So pretty decent. I'm using the new Cobra bio cell here. So pretty, pretty similar uh, distances wise. Uh, pretty good spin rates there. If we look at the range ball, so the 100, our Trafford Golf Center range ball, carry distance 275 yards, one yard of difference. And that was over four shots, one yard of difference. It's, there is no difference. You know, there is no difference at all. Ball speed was slightly less. It was two miles per hour less ball speed, which is the trend that we've seen over the, the different tests with the sand wedge, with the 7 iron, and with the driver. The range ball offers a slightly slower ball speed, but by two miles per hour. So again, guys, you aren't going to particularly notice that when you practice. The spin rates, again, just under, oh, they're identical. It's actually 11 reps per minute different, 11. So again, you're not gonna notice that. So guys, what it's showing there is that the two golf balls, the market leader, which is the Shrixen AD333, this is American Golf's best-selling golf ball, and the two-piece range ball from ICANN, there is hardly a difference at all, apart from that the range ball has a harder cover, which you would expect, because it's gotta go through a lot more rigmarole to be hit, collected, cleaned, and picked back up again. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope that clears things up that there is not now much of a difference between a normal golf ball and a range ball. There really isn't. As long as they are 100% flight range balls, they will be as closely matched as a Shrix and AD333 as we can possibly get it. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. And that was my test today of our new Trafford Golf Centre range ball. And if you ever want to come down and practice here, this is the range ball you're going to be hitting. Thanks so much for watching and please do subscribe.